of today's instruction is to kind of introduce you guys to this derivative. If you guys were to look at this, does this function look like any one of my limit definitions of my derivative? The first one, right? This looks exactly like the first one. And if, we're, and if this looks like what they're asking us to do is basically find the derivative of a function using our limits. And what function are we looking into finding the derivative, the derivative of if that is the limit definition of it? No, what's the, well, what's the function that we're looking into? What is the function here that we're taking the derivative of using the limit definition? Think about it. Here's f of x, and you plugged in, you plugged in that value to c into the function to get another number. So here's I plugged in my number, so therefore that is my f of x, right? f of x, f of x. f of c, f of c. Does everybody see that? So what I can say is my function f of x is equal to x to the fourth. Does everybody see how f of x, x to the fourth is my function? Does that make sense? Yes? So what this is really asking us to do, yes, it's, doing, it's asking us to find the derivative. But what it's also asking us to do is find the, uh, I'm sorry, it's asking us to find the limit. But it's also asking us to find the derivative. That's really what we're doing here, is finding the derivative of our function f of x. And then they want us to evaluate it at the value of 2. So all I need to do now is find my derivative of f of x, which is 4x cubed. Right? And then I just need to evaluate. I'm not using, I'm not using correct limit notation, FYI. And if you guys were to do the other way that we learned how to do limits, you guys would see you'd get the exact same answer. But it's something that really important I want you guys to understand is, again, the derivative